Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterboy here. Welcome back to the channel. I know I'm making kind of a different video today. I know it's usually just some gameplay in the background, but honestly, I just wanted to make a really quick video about some of the patch notes that we have. So if you don't know, you haven't downloaded it yet. So patch 1.08 has just become live on all systems, PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4. And there's not a whole lot in it whatsoever. So I'm going to go through some of the things that were in this patch. Let you guys know what's kind of going on. Let you guys have my opinion about what is going on in this update. Because again, for, for all the complaining that I do, still a lot of things are not being addressed in this game. Like connectivity or anything. But some crashes are actually being uh, talked about in this game. Where you know something might happen while you're in game. Um, and that is being addressed. But only time will tell if crashes are still a thing of the past or if they're still happening like I imagine they are. And I, I know I'm in my tank top right now. I just got done working out. Got to get them biceps and triceps. Actually, it was, it was shoulder day. So anyway, <laughs> let's go on. All right, so patch 1.08. So if you have not downloaded this, um, this is a 14 gigabyte on on PlayStation 4 and 22 uh, gigabyte on Xbox One. It's a it's a big it's a big update on the consoles. Uh, I guess P, uh, PC has not gotten theirs yet. I don't know at least in the patch notes it it doesn't say you know how many gigs you will actually have on the PC. However, the reason why it's so big is the rumor right now is Hijack is going to be making a, uh, a, a appearance I guess in Blackout. So you if you actually look at the map of Blackout, you're going to see a lot of open space in the ocean in the sea area and uh, I guess the big rumor right now is the fact that Hijack is going to be uh, part of that scenery. So definitely watch out for that. I don't think it's been um, actually put into the game yet, but I would definitely watch out for it. Another thing, uh, real quick, is that they've added Safeguard to Xbox One. I've actually gotten a game in of, of Safeguard, and I have to say, at least on the Xbox One, I, can, I don't know how it was on the PlayStation 4, but dude... Man, if you want to run kill streaks, either run low kill streaks or run just or just do if you want kill streaks, don't play safeguard. If you want kill streaks, get the low ones because it def it is a pain in the butt to actually go for kill streaks and safeguard. You're getting 50 points per kill, so you got to find different ways of actually uh, earning points in the game. One thing that I've actually found out is actually equipment will give you more points. Um, so if you're playing torque or Nomad or something like that, you get uh, you get kills with your equipment, I think it actually adds more points than just 50 points. I'm not sure yet, but if you actually are playing that game mode, at least you know that. Uh, theater mode has been, has, been, has been resurrected, in my opinion. Theater mode was going down for a lot of people. It went down for me, so, you know, all the f game footage that I have on my Xbox in theater mode, I, would I was not able to actually access for the game to show you guys. So, one thing that I'm really happy about to see is Theater Mode has made a return now. Theater Mode should be up for all players. I'm really happy that uh, that it's back. I was actually about to make a video about Theater Mode being down, but I'm really happy to see that it's come back. All right, so let's get into some of the patch notes. I'm going to go into um, Multiplayer and Blackout. I'm not really going to go into Zombies. And again, like I said, there's not a whole lot of changes, really. It's more about stability when it comes to Multiplayer and Blackout. And, and at least in the patch notes, it's talking about a big update when it comes to Blackout. Um, here in the next couple of weeks, so kind of stay tuned to what's going on. So in multiplayer, we're implementing a round of stability updates for a smoother online experience, including fixes for crashes related to specific modes, uh, score streaks, as well as sp uh, specialists that could affect players at various points in multiplayer matches. I will tell you right now, one of the most uh, pain in the butt things that I had the experience in multiplayer was getting a gunship, getting two or three kills, and all of a sudden crashed all the way to the dashboard. It was really dumb. I hated it that that happened, and it's just hopefully something like that has actually been fixed in this game. Uh, for Blackout players, prepare for big changes coming up in the game starting next week. We've got an extensive set of features, events, and more surprises planned for future uh, Blackout. And we're excited to share more details on everything coming in, uh, in our next update dedicated uh, post later this week. In the meantime, we've added enemy uh, calling cards, emblems, and echelon information in the player HUD and kill cam. So, I don't know if you're one of those players that wants to see the, the emblems and the calling cards of people that you kill. Y you got what you wanted, I guess. I don't, I, to me, come on, who cares? I, I'm a, I, again, I think it's really stupid that we have different spray paints and emblems and all that stuff that 
are a dollar a piece if you want to buy them in game and it's just part of the tier system so to me i just think that's just i i, I hate it i hate it so much that they've actually like oh you know get, come get come get your emblems come get your dollar a piece i know they're really terrible but you know whatever anyway let's get into multiplayer so spawns have been adjusted for hard points so if you were one of those players that are like me you get into a hard point game and it is the most atrocious spawns ever Hopefully something has been changed. I have not played Hardpoint since this update. I would love to see what the spawns are, but good lord. Chaos Hardpoint, I, I, <laughs> how much I wanted to enjoy that game mode, the spawns were just atrocious, so I don't even try it. So I want to see what that looks like now. Gameplay added calling cards and emblems for <laughs> killed enemy players. Nobody cares. All right, stability. fixes uh, Fixed crashes. So let's see. Uh, when a UAV was active... While another player was joining the match, that would cause a crash? Okay. When a player disconnected during a hell storm strike, that would crash? When a seeker attacked a player in certain situations... What is this? You're telling me this many crashes would happen at certain... When Firebreak's reactor core killed a player that was disconnecting, that... A kill confirmed when collecting tags of a dis... And safeguard when a robot was shut down in certain situations... What the hell is... Rearch! If you got this many issues with crashes, I feel like something was meant, like, somebody missed something in, in QA or something, like, the fact that you have this many crashes going on in your game, and these are some of the examples, I'm assuming, dude, come on, man, you, you guys, AAA game, they, like, stuff like this should not be happening, but, I mean, I guess if they're being fixed, and hopefully crashes are just thing of the past, like I said. Score streaks, care package, improved care packages, landing physics, um... I can't imagine what would be wrong with the care package. Well, besides the fact that it actually takes a lot. Long, well, it used to take a long time to get here, but now hopefully it's been shortened down a bit. Address issues with the care package getting stuck and being flung off the map. I've never had that. I've never seen my care package just, like, fly off in the distance um, once it hits something. But I have, like, I think it's, like, overpass where they'll literally get stuck on the overpass, and it's like, oh, that's awesome. I've, or, I've, I've either gotten a Mantis or a Care Package stuck up there, and I can't use the damn thing, so that has to mostly just to go with map design. Uh, Hellstorm Missile, address an issue that would allow the Hellstorm to lock onto targets that were under roofs and not reachable by the missile. I, again, why are, why are things messing up like that? That's like one of the goofiest things that I've seen, like the reason why, like, why would it be, oh, anyway. That's just kind of goofy stuff. There's different challenges on here. I'm not really going to go into that. Um, some stuff for the tournament getting restricted and whatever. Nobody cares. Uh, let's see. Let's You know, there's some zombie stuff. Again, I haven't really played too much of the zombies. I need to get into zombies. It's, it's just multiplayer and blackout right now. I mean, especially for the tier system. There's no real point in playing zombies if it's not going to go towards the tier system. All right. Let's get into blackout. And again, blackout is literally... So they have this huge announcement for next week. They have all these different things that they want to add to it. But... Just for this week, we've only had the added the calling emblems and echelons for kills and added enemy calling. Okay, so anyway, nobody cares. Blackout. No, I just to me, in in my opinion, for this whole update for 1.08, yeah, it's a huge update. It's a huge thing to download. But to me, looking at these patch notes, looking at what has been changed in this game, again. The game's been out long enough for a lot of different changes to happen in this game. This game has been out long enough to where you're seeing problems with the game. You're seeing what people are complaining about. You see, you know, what different things are going on the game that is making the game poor, in my opinion. However, it's a lot better than some of the other games like Battlefield 5 and other. Anyway, that's my opinion. But honest to God, you have different things that are going on in this game where this has been out long enough things should be fixed and it's not fixed it's not fixed whatsoever and for something like this to be a 22 gigabyte download on xbox one and a 14 gigabyte um download on playstation 4 to me it's just like what's going on so i do imagine a lot of people are going to be data mining it um whenever it gets on the play um, on the pc i imagine a lot of people are going to try to find out what is in this download what are we downloading it because it is a lot of information but for right now at least in the patch notes Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. So I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to see more um, emphasis on connectivity. Again, I'm having a lot of problems with that. I know a lot of other people are having problems with the connection in this game. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's just a Call of Duty um, thing from now on is that we're always going to have problems with connectivity when it comes to this game. But yeah, man, I, I, I just want to at least let you guys know what was going on in this update. Again, it's nothing really... It's nothing, it, like, nobody cares. No, I look at this thing and I go, 
I do not care. Besides some of the information that is going to be held for next week for Blackout, nobody cares about anything that was in this update. So I just at least wanted to let you guys know. If you haven't, haven't checked this out yet, I just went ahead and told you. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad that you know I wanted to do something different. If you guys like me doing stuff like that, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see my face, you want to see my, see my guts, <laughs> do whatever. Yeah, you know I don't care. I think stuff like this is kind of fun to do, but. Um, you know, it's just something different. If you guys want to see me, you know, do this more often, let me know in the comments below. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please like my video. Give me the comments down below what you guys think about the patch. Have a great rest of the day, guys, and I'll see you guys all next time. Get them guns!